Welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video, All In Crypto here and I am hoping everybody has survived what was a frightful uh, weekend for the cryptocurrency market and I was thinking how can I kind of um, conceptualize what took place over the weekend and kind of normalize it if you will, you know we all love the volatility that the cryptocurrency market sees to the upside and none of us enjoy the kind of volatility that we see um, to the downside. But it's just as much a part of the cryptocurrency space. You know, the reason that crypto can perform to the manner that it can in terms of the returns it can offer you is due to it being a very small market. And that is, and that bo both works to the upside and the downside. And what I want to do in this video is actually take a look at four altcoins that did really, really well in the last bull market, the majority of that bull market taking place in 2021, and actually showing you guys some of the pullbacks that these altcoins that did spectacularly had on the way to their eventual um, all-time highs. And I think that's gonna really put into perspective what we're seeing uh, today in the cryptocurrency market and kind of somewhat normalize it and it is an exceptionally hard market to be a part of you know whoever told you investing in the cryptocurrency space was easy uh, really didn't have a clue what they were talking about it's easy with the benefit of hindsight but when you're kind of living through it and going through it um, it can often really weigh on your life, weigh on uh, multiple things. You know, I'm kind of seasoned in this. I had my baptism of fire back in 2018, obviously following the bull market of 2017. So I've kind of been here a while and I've really uh, rode the cycles. And, and, and part of me um, starting this channel was to help people capitalize and be able to actually capitalize on an opportunity um, that I believe is still here today in regards to the cryptocurrency space so we all love the upside none of us love the downside but it's part and parcel uh, and actually what i want to do is go over and take a seat that is very normal what we actually saw over the weekend and you're going to say all in crypto how on earth is a pullback of 50 percent in a matter of days or even in in a matter of a day um, normal well i'm going to show you that um, in this video and what I want to do is just maybe start by actually uh, bring up the total chart this is the total cryptocurrency market and this actually only sold off not just over the weekend but since we've kind of been pulling back by 22 percent and if you compare this to historically what the kind of uh, dips are the destruction of the total two in a bull market this is very much normal and in line with what we uh, see in pretty much all uh, bull markets. In fact, this 22% dip is very mild compared to certainly some of the ones that we saw in the earlier days of the cryptocurrency market. The first altcoin that I actually want to talk to you guys about is Ethereum. Okay, so Ethereum, um, of course, is the largest altcoin that there is. It's, it's, it wasn't the first altcoin, believe it or not, um, but it's it certainly became one of the largest ones due to their uh, implementation of smart contracts. And Ethereum had many, many dips. We've not got them all on the chart here. We've just highlighted some uh, in the bull market that was kind of kicked off after the March 2020 capitulation and topped out going into 2022, around about November 2021. And we have a series of dips here, the smallest of which being a 35% dip. Now, that is uh, very hard to stomach. You know, if you have your net worth in crypto and it, it dips by 35% in a matter of weeks, that can be very uneasy and un nerve wracking. However, if you understand the game that you're playing and the nature of the beast that you're dealing with, it does become um, a lot easier. And that's why we're doing this video to somewhat normalize the kind of price action that we saw, certainly over the weekend that we've just had. You know, it's good for me to get on here and kind of be uh, perhaps a voice of reasoning um, at a time when I'm sure many are kind of panicking and some of you that are new to the crypto space might not be understanding what's kind of gone on here. Um, but we can see, obviously, the March 2020 dip for Ethereum was around about 68%. Then it had a 35% dip. Um, it had multiple from then to the 37% dip that we have over in March 2021. Um, it had a 60% dip in May 2021. 
Uh, it had a 35% uh, dip in September before kind of topping out in November. So you had multiple dips, the smallest of which being a 35% dip on your way to your all time high. And Ethereum's low that was caused by March 2020 was $88 and its high was $4,877. And you wouldn't have got to appreciate that if you couldn't stomach um, the downside that was actually very frequent with Ethereum due to the nature of the market that we're kind of um, playing in. The next coin that I want to talk to you guys about is Solana. Now, Solana went from cents all the way up to around $260. And along the way, Solana had multiple dips. The shallowest of these dips was actually a 48% one, which was uh, just the, the kind of last dip before it put in its high um, at around about $260. And you can see we have frequent 60 plus percent dips. So we have a 66% dip here. We have a 69% dip, a 55% dip, a 68% dip, a 48% one, and then it went on and put in its high. Are you going to be able to ride that volatility? And this is why we are a big advocate for the fact that people should not be playing with leverage in this market. It's volatile enough. You know, you are going to give all of your money back to the exchanges that hopefully um, you've made thus far and going to continue to make. So Solana, one of the best performing altcoins, like I say, it went from cents to $260. Along that way and on that journey had frequent 50, 60, 70% um, dips. The next one that I want to talk to you guys about that I personally did very well off of was Cardano, somebody that was accumulating this in the cents and ultimately got to ride it all the way up to $2. And you can see just how many dips this had along the way. Obviously, the March 2020 dip was 77%. Then we run straight into a 35% one, lots of small 20% ones along the way. We've got a 56% one, 37% one, 46% one, 51% one, and then we have a 63% one it caused a bit of a falling wedge that we actually traded perfectly into the high of three dollars um are you going to be able to to stomach that and this is why we're doing this video to help people understand that this is what investing in the cryptocurrency market in a bull market will entail and you need to be able to um ride that volatility you're going to love it when it goes up you're going to hate it when it goes down but it's all part and parcel of the course the last one that we actually have for you guys is BNB. Uh, so BNB did very, very well. Um, it was kind of a bit of a dark horse. I actually think BNB could do quite well. Again, this bull market, certainly with the new management that it's under after they hostily took it over the United States, just like they do with everybody is hostily kind of took it over. Um, and you can see the March 2020 crash was 76%, frequent 30, 20% ones. Um, you can see multiple 30% dips there. It had a big run, then it pulled back 50% and then put in its high of um, $699, nearly $700. And it went from $6 all the way up to uh, $700. Okay, I think certain altcoins are going to do a similar thing this bull market and you just need to be able to withstand that volatility and not become a forced seller. We are clearly now in an uptrending, broken out market. Many of these altcoins are doing the exact same thing that they've done previously or that other altcoins, the other altcoins of the prior uh, bull market have done. They are doing that today. And you need to be able to stomach the volatility to benefit from this bull market and understand more importantly the nature of the beast that you are dealing with it is a very very volatile one and if you can't stand that if you can't stand the heat get the hell out the kitchen because this is not a market for the faint-hearted this is not a market for people that can't live with the volatility because it is inherent in regards to the cryptocurrency space due to its small and speculative nature. So a bit of advice perhaps for people who can't stomach the kind of volatility that you see with altcoins. I happen to play majority in altcoins just because I believe they're gonna offer me a higher return. I'm a believer in Bitcoin, not in the Satoshi narrative though, however, I'm a believer in an alternative currency system and the need for one. We're gonna be doing an interesting video on the NSA and Bitcoin um, later on this week. Um, but if you are really struggling with the volatility, 
look for the coins in this recent pullback. Actually, BNB was one that didn't go down massively. Um, something like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, your larger caps have obviously sold off most of them to less of a degree as your smaller caps. But if you are in the altcoin market, guys and girls, prepare for volatility because it is absolutely inherent in regards to the cryptocurrency space uh, and you shouldn't shy away from it. You should embrace it um, and you should hopefully conquer it and come out victorious uh, and seize what is a uh, exceptional opportunity in regards to uh, the cryptocurrency market. This technology finds itself at the convergence of most industries and it is going to change the world. And that is all I've got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully we've somewhat normalized some of the price action that we've saw over the weekend. We have done videos speculating on what was going on with the fiat systems fighting back, um, but that is uh, for another video and we have previously covered it. So that's all from me, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are and whatever it is you are doing. And on that note, I'm gonna love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you all in the next one.